Yeah, man, but, uh, yeah, for sure. No problem. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Oh. Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The Mox dive. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Michael? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it.
Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Maiko is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Some deets about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Hmm. Guess I know the type. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mock. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean yo. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark, you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Want to come back? Done. I always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... Traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? You have no idea how valuable you my time what is. You were what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen?
Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry, she put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over Clouds, as if it were her idea. You might be onto something. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No. Nope. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Fine. Want you to do it.
don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Michael, what you fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here, yeah. go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a rip. Uh, was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. Yes, get out. Uh. Uh. the ground floor. Need to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. You know, revenge isn't ever really worth it. People want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief, but that's not how it works. What's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, man. You're screwing with my head. There's that tone. Yelling comes easy. Taking me out somewhere. That fucking board is on the impossible. I am not getting. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. <laughs> 